My name is Nelson Phillips and welcome back to Jim Pattison Volvo in North Vancouver. Today we're going to discuss the hybrid drivetrain that we're currently offering from Volvo. The T8 is available in a variety of our different models which include the S60, the V60, XC60, XC90 and the full-size luxury sedan, the S90. All of these different models are going to use the same technology so we'll cover over how this technology works throughout the rest of our video. So the T8 engine offered in any of our different Volvo models is going to give you the same gasoline T6 engine that you'll have in the front of the vehicle, as well as an additional electric engine that's going to give you the primary power for all of your driving in the vehicle. So an advantage of having both engines working together is going to be the 400 horsepower and 473 foot pounds of torque you're going to get when combining both of them together. So not only is it going to be a very fun and responsive vehicle to drive, but it's also going to see phenomenal fuel efficiency where you'll see ratings as low as 2.8 liters combined per 100 kilometers when driving in either the hybrid or pure drive modes with the regenerative braking feature. Even if you're a little bit more lead footed and you enjoy that power drive mode, we're still seeing people getting an average of between seven and eight liters combined per 100 kilometers, which is still making it phenomenal efficiency for a 400 horsepower SUV of this size. So let's just take a minute to go through all of the different drive modes that you're gonna get in any of our T8 models. The first drive mode is called hybrid. The hybrid drive mode is gonna prioritize the most efficiency that it possibly can from the vehicle, while still giving you access to the gasoline engine when you really need to punch it. The next drive mode is gonna be called the pure drive mode. In the pure drive mode, you're now going to use electrification a lot more readily available, but there will be a little bit more of a delay with the gasoline engine turning on just because it recognizes that you're really trying to use the electrification as the priority. So the constant all wheel drive mode is gonna be perfect for when driving to places like Whistler or up the Coquihalla. So what the constant all wheel drive is, is just ensuring that you get the best traction possible at any speed that you're going. So the last drive mode is gonna be the power drive mode. This is where you're gonna be getting a total of 400 horsepower and 473 foot pounds of torque. And man, does it ever change the whole response of the vehicle. The steering, the brakes, even the suspension will all adjust based on your individual inputs and just make the car just so much more responsive with how you're driving it. So there's gonna be quite a few advantages that you're gonna get from driving any of our TA models. The first advantage is gonna be the efficiency. So if you're only driving the vehicle fairly short distances and you have a charging station at home as well as at work, you can expect to pretty much only be using electrification for most of your driving. So you're really now driving a hybrid vehicle that's not gonna require you to gas it up almost ever. So the second advantage of our hybrid system is gonna be the unlimited range that you'll get. So while you're not limited to the electric range and not limited to the gasoline range, it's now gonna allow you to just drive the vehicle a little bit further in both scenarios when you run out of one or the other. So with how few charging stations are even available these days in Vancouver, it's really nice to have a plug-in electric vehicle like this that you're not always gonna to have to plug in. So even if you run the range completely out of this vehicle, you can drive it around just as a regular gasoline vehicle where you're also now recharging back up to 50% of the range that you've used. So you're still getting great efficiency even when you don't have the chance to plug it in. So for anyone making longer highway commutes out there, you're really gonna appreciate the HOV benefits you get from driving one of these cars. So instead of just sitting in traffic like everybody else, you can just be coasting along in the HOV lane with a plug-in hybrid electric car. So there's been a lot of talk of both electric and hybrid vehicles becoming available on the market. And at Volvo, we're fully committed to becoming a fully electric brand. Although these changes just aren't happening at nearly the rate that we'd like to see them happen. So a little bit of a timeline, for 2020, we're already seeing a 14% increase on the range for our current hybrid vehicles. We're also gonna see the launch of our 2021 XC40, as well as now going into the next year, we're now going to have mild hybrids as the standard across our whole lineup. So if you guys have any other questions about any of our current technologies or future technologies that are about to be released, you can always let myself, Nelson Phillips know, or any of the other advisors here at Jim Pattison Volvo of North Vancouver. Thanks again for watching.